Hello friends! So this video is going to be a lot of things rolled into one, but it's okay because this is a very exciting video for me to film. I got a new phone and it's so pretty! Oh my god, okay. So I got the iPhone 11 Pro and I have been waiting to open this on camera and like to show you guys me unboxing it because I feel like iPhone unboxing videos are just super satisfying. Like the way the plastic peels off is just chef's kiss. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a little iPhone 11 Pro unboxing and I'm also going to do an unboxing of the case that I got from Wildflower. I love Wildflower cases, but we'll get into that later. After I get it set up, I'll show you guys what's on my iPhone because I haven't done a what's on my iPhone in a year and a half, two years, so it's time for an update. Before I get started with saying anything, I just want to put out there I am not trying to brag about me being like, oh, look how rich I am. I have an iPhone 11. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just really excited about it. And I, I've had my iPhone X for about two years now, two and a half years. We had the upgrade on our plan and we just decided it was about time. So I'm just, I'm really, really grateful that my family is like well off enough and we're fortunate enough to be able to afford things like this. So please don't get offended by this video. And if you are, then you can click out. It's okay, no hard feelings. And I also wanna say, if you are new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. You'll find the button. Give this video a like. Follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description. My Instagram will be floating around on the screen somewhere. And yeah, be sure to check out my music too. That's also linked in the description down below because I just released Come Back To You. So definitely be sure to check that out. I'm super, super proud of that song. So anyways, I can't wait anymore. Let's just, let's just get into this. <laughs> I feel like this should be like an ASMR kind of thing. So I got the black iPhone 11 Pro because it was the only one they had in store, which is different for me because usually I get like the silver white iPhones or like whatever metallic color it is, but this time I got black. She's sexy. Okay, this is the part where I might freak out. Ready? I enjoyed that very much. Okay, so the iPhone 11 Pro is the same size as the normal iPhone 11, except it has three cameras instead of two, which is really good. I'm gonna put this down just because I'm scared. It's really good for me because I take a lot of pictures. Like, I post on Instagram way too much and it's kind of embarrassing, but like, I also don't really care. I'm excited to have like all these different ranges of cameras that I can use just on my phone. And I also vlog a lot on my phone, so that's going to be really helpful because the quality is going to be A+. I feel like they're the same size-ish. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to leave that in there for now so I can open the wildflower case because I don't want to have that thing all bare and naked, so here we go. I just got this really cute butterfly case from wildflower. I'm going to just pop this on real quick. Perfect. Oh, I love this. Fun fact, I love wildflower cases so much. I mentioned this before, but for my iPhone X, I have this wildflower case. Wildflower cases are like super sturdy. They're really cute. This like black bumper on the side keeps it protected. So I am down with this. Okay, back to the iPhone box. <laughs> this is a really like messy all over the place kind of video guys. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, underneath the iPhone, you just get like the instruction manual. It says hello. And the stickers! I forgot they give you stickers. That's exciting. This is new, right? This isn't like the other cubes. <gasps> the charger's different? I didn't know that. Wait, how am I gonna like... Okay, well, they gave me a charger. I had no idea the charger was different, but... The old charger is just a normal USB port, but this one is like different. We're just gonna... There we go. 
So yeah, we got a charger and I've got new ear pods. I have ear pods though, so like I don't really need this. Wow, I sounded so pretentious right there. I'm really sorry. Oh, this is so exciting. I am going to transfer all of the information from this phone into this phone. And then I'll get back to you guys with my what's on my iPhone. Okay, hello guys. It is quite a bit later. Um, it took a hot minute to get this phone set up, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Some of my apps are still downloading onto this phone, but it's okay. I figured I'll just get started with the what's on my iPhone. I'm just gonna do a quick screen recording. Okay, cool. So this is my lock screen and my background is just like a compilation of Polaroids of my friends from college because I miss them a lot. So I have all of the typical apps that come with the phone, you know, like camera, photos, weather, all of that. The camera has three different lenses, obviously, because there are three different lenses on here. So the first one is just like the normal view, but then when you click on this one, it's like a wide angle, which is super cool. And then when you do two times, it zooms in a lot. And then obviously you can just zoom in and zoom out as you please. So yeah, but I thought, I don't know, I thought that was really cool. But then going into my socials, this is all of my social media. So of course I have Instagram. My Instagram feed is in this transitional period right now where I'm going between filters, but I finally have a feed theme that I really like and if you want me to show you guys how I edit that then I can definitely do that because it's quite an extensive process. I use Lightroom to do all of my presets and I use a different app that I'll show you guys later to like plan out my feed and all of that so I put a lot of effort into my Instagram. <laughs> but after that I just have Twitter. I don't really tweet that much. I mostly use it to stay informed, but feel free to follow me. All my important socials will be in the description, like I said before, so you can just check that out if you want. Next is Facebook, because I don't know. I honestly have Facebook just for school because I don't really use Facebook for like the social media purpose of it. And to go with Facebook, I have Facebook Messenger. And then next I have Snapchat. Space cheese. <laughs> back into my socials folder. I have YouTube, obviously. Um, and I have YouTube Studio, which tracks like all of my analytics and stuff with my videos. I have Pinterest, which is really good for inspiration. I have like a bunch of Pinterest boards for um, like nails. I have a Pinterest board for my wedding. I don't know why I did that. I haven't updated it in a while. I have a board for Big Little because I'm gonna be a big hopefully next year, so need inspiration for that and then i have like dorm decor ideas bullet journal ideas and tattoo ideas that's that and i have bitmoji tumblr which i don't really use slack which is for my sorority that's how we all communicate with each other um linkedin for like you know career connections and all of that group me which is used for like a bunch of different purposes i have a group me for like my close friends but i also have some for like clubs and stuff that i'm in so it's just really good to have house party is how all of my friends stay connected because half of us are android users and half of us are iphone users so facetime doesn't work with us um and then i have reports which just shows me like who unfollowed me which i feel like is really petty but I don't know. I just, I'm curious. I'd like to know. And then after that, I have TikTok, which is my shameful addiction. I don't know. It's just, it's so good. I don't know why it's so addicting to me. I could be on TikTok for hours and it's so bad, but you should definitely follow me on there too. I've got quite a catalog of TikToks myself and I really enjoy making them. And then after that, I have Discord, which my program music industry at Drexel like that's what we use it for to connect with each other and talk about classes or like self promo if any of us are releasing music so that's what that's for next is all of my photo and video editing apps in this folder um like I said I will make a whole other video explaining how I edit my Instagram photos but for now I'm just gonna go through all of the apps so first I have Visco and let me tell you, I was a loyal Visco user for so long. Like, I would always 
use this to edit my photos but now i've switched over to lightroom to edit all of my photos and i don't know i just like it's so much better it's so much more customizable but yeah so those are my two photo editing apps that i've mostly used i also use snapseed a lot to like fine-tune things i say like i want to take this picture and only brighten up my face i can do that and it's super helpful that looks really bad but you get the idea that's it's just more for fine-tuning things in shot that's like how i edit like really simple videos and stuff on my phone just for really quick purposes um pick collage just for making collages google photos is how i back up everything on my camera roll because i don't have that much storage on my phone so it's good to like back all my photos up onto google photos and then i can delete everything on my camera roll so frees up a lot of space and then i use preview which is how i plan out all my instagram photos so it's synced up to my instagram feed so whenever i post a new photo like it'll update and i can see how they look in relation to my feed and usually when i use the same filter it all works out but i just like to see how everything is unfold and ash are two story editing template apps and they're both really, really good. I I prefer Ash for obvious reasons, but also because the templates are really cute and I use them to like, you know, make happy birthday posts or happy father's day posts or anything like that. And they're just, they're really simple to use. Next is Fonto and Fonto is what I use to add text to all of my YouTube thumbnails. And PicMonkey is how I edit my thumbnails. like put photos together into a sizable thumbnail. So those are the two apps that I mainly use for that. Facetune, I honestly don't use as much. What I mostly use it for is whitening. So if I wanna make my background a little whiter, I just go in with the whitening tool and do that. Into Live is an app where you can convert slideshows and videos into live photos that you can use for your background which is really cool. And then lastly, I have PixArt, which is super duper cool. Um, it's mostly just to like put cool effects on it. I really enjoy the sketch effect, which creates this little thing. And it's really cool. And I, I use it sometimes just to spice up a picture when I feel like a filter just doesn't add enough interesting stuff to it. Um, in my next folder is for school. I have all of the Google apps like google drive docs slides sheets um i have outlook because that's what drexel uses to contact all their students and i have drexel one which is our like school portal to access our grades see how many dining dollars and meal swipes we have um and it's really convenient and cool it's like a one-stop shop for everything you need to know as a drexel student and i also have blackboard on there because that's how i access all of my grades for school and i thankfully have not had to open up either of these apps in quite a while because school has ended and I'm really happy about that. So, and then I also have Google Calendar and Socrativ. Those two I mostly use for my sorority because my sorority uploads all of our events and like one chapter is on Google Calendar. So I have access to that and I know when everything is. And Socrative is how we vote in my sorority for like elections or like different matters or the budget or whatever. That's what we use. The next folder that I have is for shopping. I don't have too many apps in here, which I'm really proud of myself for because I used to have a bunch of shopping apps, but I deleted a lot of them. I have Amazon on here because I feel like everyone should have <laughs> Amazon just to like get things really quickly. I have Zoffel, Garage, and Sheen. I, I don't even use Garage. Obviously, I should delete that right now. Next is news and my job is writing articles for like a record label slash news platform so that's where I access all of the articles that I wrote and see them like published on Apple News. This next folder is just like all the extra shit that came with my new phone that I usually don't keep but I'm too lazy to delete all of them right now so there's that. And then the next folder I have is for music so I have a tuner, obviously, because I need to tune my instruments. Um, I have Spotify. Follow me on Spotify, guys, because I recently updated all of my playlists, 
and I can show you them right now actually. I'm really proud of them. <laughs> I would just like to point out though, my music taste is very all over the place, but if you want to see the, my mess of a music taste, then you should follow me on Spotify. After Spotify, I have Guitar Tabs, which is how I learned how to play songs on my guitar. Spotify for artists, because I also have music out on Spotify, which you should totally check out by the way, but that's how I track like my analytics for my music on Spotify. And then I have Ticketmaster because I got BTS tickets for a concert in May that obviously got postponed because of Corona. So I have that app. And then I have SoundCloud, which is everyone knows that SoundCloud is. It's another streaming music platform. I'm really sorry. This video is super long. So next I have food, which is an essential. I have Starbucks, Chipotle, Panera Bread, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Chick-fil-A, Good Uncle, which is only for college students and they're only for certain campuses, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but they're really good. They're like, they're a food truck basically and they drive around and deliver like food for you that they made themselves. It's just really convenient when you don't feel like leaving your dorm to get food at the dining hall. So yeah, and their food is really good too. And then lastly, I have Saxby's, which is um, my favorite coffee shop back at Drexel. And I really miss it because that's where I would study and like that was my, that was my home. <laughs> Next is travel. And this is just everything that I need to go different places. So like Google Maps, Yelp if I'm trying to find a good place to eat or like hang out or whatever. Um, Uber, Lyft, obviously, for like getting rides. Um, and then Amtrak, MTA, and train time are a lot more important to me when I'm away at school. I normally take the Amtrak to travel from Philly to New York and like New York and Philly and all that. So it's good to have like my tickets on hand to know when my train times are and my Long Island Railroad tickets because it can be confusing sometimes and it took quite a bit for me to learn how to do it, but gotten the hang of it now <laughs> and then next i have money i have my paypal account my venmo and my chase bank which is where my credit card is from um and then for games i just have bts world which i haven't opened in quite a while i'm really sorry to all of the bts fans out there um i have eight ball pool because i never get tired of playing eight ball and then Psych and Photo Roulette are games that my roommates made me get. Photo Roulette's really fun. It's like it shows you a picture from someone's camera roll and you have to guess whose camera roll it's from, which can be really risky if you have like nudes on there or something, but I don't, so it's okay. And the last folder is all my medical stuff. So that is everything that is on my brand new iPhone. I'm so in love with this. But anyways, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you made it to this point, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.